Oregon Cash Flow Pro offers free money management advice to help you take control of your finances. More wealth, less debt, fast. And now here's your host, personal finance enthusiast and licensed insurance broker, James Barber. Hi folks, welcome to Oregon Cash Flow Pro. I wanted to get a quick video out to you talking about life insurance as property and more specifically how cash value life insurance designed to use the infinite banking concept functions as property similarly to a single family home. So first, let's go over uh, life insurance as property. Now life insurance is property just like any other property that you can buy and you can sell it. Uh, the courts actually ruled on this a number of years ago that you own it. A cash value policy, a whole life policy, you own that and you have the right to sell it if you want to. We're not going to be talking about that part of it today, but uh, it helps to realize that when you think about life insurance as property. So there's a few things that I'm going to show you, just the basic aspects of life insurance as property, and then we'll talk more specifically about how it functions similarly to a single family home. So first of all, life insurance is property. This is whole life cash value policy. It's guaranteed to increase in equity. You get a tax-free dividend every year. You immediately create an estate when you start the policy. You can collateralize the equity with no credit check. Equity is the portion of the death benefit that the owner controls while they're alive. Here again, it can be sold. The equity grows tax deferred and tax free. Equity is accessible tax free like a HELOC without credit check for any reason. So you can access the equity tax free like a HELOC without a credit check. And there's no restrictions on that. So you don't have to talk to a bank to get access to that cash value life insurance. You don't have to get approved to access that. That cash value is yours to control. So specifically the infinite banking concept, it really utilizes uh, some of these properties to the fullest extent that we can. Okay, let's go over now how life insurance functions very similarly to a single family home when we use the infinite banking concept. So with the infinite banking concept, that means we are looking for the smallest death benefit that we can buy so that we can put in as much cash value as we can in order to generate equity in that account. A really well-designed policy will have a 10 to one ratio. So your base insurance premium is a set amount, say uh, $15,000. That means that you can do a max, you can put in a max amount of cash of $150,000. So you get a 10 to one ratio on that. And that is what allows you to build equity from day one. Okay, you have access to the cash that you just put into that policy 80 to 85% of that cash value should be available to you to access as equity in day one. So the infinite banking concept, we now have cash value that we've established and that cash value is going to continue to increase every single year, guaranteed. Now we have equity in our policy. We can access that just like we would if it was a single family home. If this was a single family home and we put money down, we have equity in the single family home and we can get a home equity line of credit so we can access that equity. In a similar way with the life insurance policy, that extra money above the base premium is equity that you've built and you can access that 
just like you would a home equity line of credit. You can utilize that equity in any way that you want to. Unlike a home equity line of credit where you have to get approved for that, you do not have to get approved to access your equity out of the life insurance. Going back to this one, we've got equity is a portion of the death benefit the owner controls while they're alive. So the more money you put into that policy each year above the policy premium, the greater your equity. It's just like making payments on your single family home, the house that you live in. Every payment, you're building your equity. And at some point, you can access that equity with a HELOC. Okay, with the life insurance policy, every payment you're making, you're building that equity and you have access to that equity. So you control all of that equity while you're alive. Now with life insurance, the death benefit is what's going to be available if you pass away. With a single family home, you pass away, whoever inherits the home has the debt burden that was associated with the house, so whatever loan was on it, uh, but they still have the equity that was in it. They control the equity in that house and presumably they can sell the house and access that equity. Or they can just take over control of the house and access that equity through a home equity line of credit. With the life insurance policy, you have access to the equity and if you pass away, the death benefit is much, much greater than whatever you had in there for uh, your equity. Because every time your, your home, your single family home, when it grows in value each year, it's not a guaranteed growth in value, but it does appreciate over time. Typically, they say about an average of three to 6%. It's very similar to your life insurance policy in that you have guaranteed growth, four to six percent. Well, the guaranteed growth of four to four percent, and you can increase it above that depending on how much the dividends pay out or if you have it indexed to a, uh, if you have it indexed to the stock market in some manner. So there's different ways that you can get that increase. Equity in the policy grows tax deferred just like equity in your home. At some point, if you sell your home, you're going to have capital gains that you owe on that above your basis. Life insurance policy works the same way. You can access that equity tax-free through policy loans, just like you can your single family home. Your single family home, when you take out a loan against your single family home, you don't pay taxes on that. You're accessing the equity, but you don't have to pay taxes. It's not income, not unless you sell it. In the case of insurance, selling it is equivalent to actually withdrawing the money out of the account. So that's the equivalent of selling your house. In the meantime, your equity grows tax deferred and you can access it tax free. Uh, big difference between single family home and life insurance, your equity is accessible tax free, just like the HELOC but without any credit checks. You, you don't have to justify why you want the money. If you want the money, you just ask your life insurance company for it. Um, with your single family home, you typically have to provide a reason. You've got to show income. You have to um, prove to them that you're able to pay back the loan. In this case, in the life insurance case, you don't have to prove that. They know they're going to get paid back through the death benefit. So if you pass away, the death benefit will pay back the loan. So there's nothing to worry about as far as that goes. Ah, you can sell your life insurance policy just like you can sell your single family home. So there's another similarity. And as you can see, those two pieces of property act very similarly. Life insurance just has guarantees that your single family home doesn't have, although there's good reasons uh, to own both of them. Thanks for watching. I hope this helped you understand a little bit better about how life insurance functions as property and that there's a lot of benefits beyond what you normally think of when you think of life insurance, which is typically just the death benefit.